Royce, that was a uh, pretty pretty dominant performance, man. I gotta imagine you're feeling pretty good. So tell us uh, what what you think about the fight right now. Man, I smell that bad. All y'all got masks on. <laughs> no, I feel good, man. I really wanted to finish, and uh, I mean that's the only thing I regret not getting that finish. I think if I was just a little bit stronger, did a little bit more weight lift in this fight, I'd have put him out. But uh. Yeah, I'm gonna work out. Just get a little bit bigger. I'm, I'm a little bit smaller than I was last fight, but I didn't like my weight cut, so I just gotta find a little happy balance. I just, just a little bit bigger, just a couple more pounds. I was gonna say, I mean, mentally, as the fight's going on, I mean, you had him in some very bad positions. So, I mean, is it difficult at all to think like, why am I not, why am I not finishing this guy? What's happening here? I mean, was there any of that going on? Yeah, especially on the twister. You know, the arm triangle. I knew, uh, just a just a muscle thing. Uh, arms burning out, you know, you don't want to over squeeze one of them. The twister, I don't know why the hell his neck didn't break, you know. Uh, there's a slight grip adjustment I think I'm going to make. But, uh, yeah, you know, I, I don't know why he didn't tap on a twister. Uh, yeah, you know, but thing is, is, is uh, it's really tempting to give up position to go for one of them submissions. And I've done it all throughout my earlier career. And uh, then you end up on bottom and you get hit. And you got a big old black eye the next day, it's not fun. So it just came down to being really smart and uh, being really patient and staying on top and never giving up good position for some bullshit. I know he, he prides himself on his grappling. So, I mean, coming in, did you know you were going to dominate him in that department? Or did, you, or did you have the goal of, you know, not just winning but dominating in the grappling? That was the goal indeed, yes, sir. <laughs> was that just to prove a point? No, it's just because I like doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. And last thing for me, uh, uh, on the broadcast, it was revealed that uh, Dana uh, called the truck and said, you're getting your camo shorts. It's happening now. It's finally done. So give us the reaction now that it sounds like the dream is becoming a reality. Uh, you heard correctly. The man himself said it. They said they're going to give me some camo shorts. And I said, you're going to give me some real camo, the kind that I like. He said, you can have whatever the fuck you want. And so, <laughs> you know, I'm going to get the real deal camo shorts. So uh, that's awesome, man. I'm going to come up with a little design. Uh, you know, that I like. Hey, Bryce, question for you back here. Um, just kind of tell me about how the, this whole process has been. Obviously, with the increased concern in terms of the medical aspect of the coronavirus situation, how has that process been for you guys as fighters? Man, you know, I relied a lot on my uh, my coaches. You know, you got Roley, Matt Hamilton, of course, old man Willie, uh, and my, my main man, TJ, downtown Brown, Jeremiah Colum. Jamie Canuto, um, you know, it just came down to a couple training partners, and that, that's all I had. And uh, but don't matter, that's all I need. You know, I believe in the people around me uh, more than I believe in myself. You know, I believe I got the best teammates in the world, the best coaches in the world. I know I do. You know, and uh, they're the best because they're the best for me. You see what I'm saying? Uh, you could put me with the best coaches or whoever people say the best are, but they don't know me. They don't. You know what I'm saying? My coaches know me. My teammates know me. That's why I like them. That's why I believe that they are the best. That's why I know they're the best for me. Now, obviously, uh, fighting in here, was the biggest difference is no, obviously no fans. How was that for you today? It's cool, man. It reminded me of fighting in the backyard. <laughs> Bryce, I got a quick question for you. Your strength looked really good tonight. You talked about your weight training routine. How did the weight training routine, how did you do it, you know, not knowing with, you know, the fight being postponed, pushed back? Did you stay on the same routine? Did you modify it a little bit? And how did that affect your weight cut? <clears throat> I didn't lift as much weights, but, uh, <clears throat> you know, I did a lot of cardio. My cardio is really good, but I just, I think I'm going to lift a little bit more weights next time. I'm going to call up Sean Ross, get a little bit of a better weight program, start going three days a week. I was probably doing like one or two days a week lifting weights, which is, you know, uh, I could do more. Bryce, quick one for you right in front of you. Straight ahead. I'm just curious what your reaction was to the Jacare news last night. Did it stress you out or did, it, did you put it past you? Man, I ain't worried about none of that stuff, man. I'm trying to get some corona in my system, build up the immunity. You know what I'm saying? I ain't worried about none of that. That stuff's just going to make your immunity stronger. They're probably going to try to test me for the vaccine. And I'm going to have to start charging y'all. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, no, ma'am. <laughs>